so we're gonna paint a character. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any black, so we're gonna use a different color, and that's cool. I love these happy accidents. So I got some ocean blue in the flame blue, and I got this light gray neutral in the Molotov Premium, and it's two colors I have left over, and I'm like, you know, we painted a piece just now. Might as well just paint a quick character and uh, show you some basics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a hip hop head kind of guy, kind of old school. And these are, uh, there's a few different ways you can do them. But you can start with kind of a more angular shapes, if you will. So maybe like, you know, here's his head. I mean, you could do a dude with like, let me do this here. Just start drawing some shapes in here. Now, I'm gonna probably do one with like a pretty ill chin. So think of it as like graffiti letters. And just go like that. And just start building it up. The shapes. All right, there's your foundation. Let's go ahead and start filling it in. Like I said, just do blocks like a graffiti letter and then kind of gesture in the character's shape. And just start filling the bad boy in. All hip hop characters have a big lower lip. That's very important. Just don't forget that. These are tough guys. Macho. And since he's hip hop, he's gonna have a cool hat. Big old hat. All right, once they have like big hats. And then like a funky ear coming out over here. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's do a different hat color. Talk to a lot of guys who um, don't like to do characters, and they often tell me the reason why is they don't understand how to do them. And it's, I always tell them, just think of it as like letters. It's the same thing. It's just, you're just making shapes. You feel me? It's just a bunch of shapes. That's all it is. All right, sick, so we got the basic fill of the face. You can see the lower lip, the chin, the nose, the ear probably should be over here. I was gonna do three quarters, but now it's gonna be a profile, so scratch that. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about. The hat, already filled in, chunky, hip hoppy, you know, you know, you know all the good stuff. So let's go ahead and start chopping them in. You know, again, these guys have very strong lips, lower lips. That's the style. Go ahead and do that, that, like that. And then the nose, just go like that. And then for the eye, there's a few different ways you can do the eye. You can just kind of flare it like that. And like that. There we go. Now the ear is gonna be like right there. And this is like a really old style hip hop kind of look, which is fun to do. Maybe a little bit of lower lip thickness like that. Very easy to do. You don't need to be an expert artisan to do this. All right, I'm gonna use this uh, light gray to cut back on the hat. LA man. Where I was born. All right, now that's the face. Let's see here. I guess he needs a hand or something, like going, you know, some kind of hand gesture.
Sorry, brother, I gotta bump your thing. Just dust that down. Let's put the hand in there. Hip hop hands don't need to be super precise. They just gotta be representations of a hand. So just go ahead and drop them in like that. Easy as pie. Cool, hip hop guy. Actually, I think I'm gonna outline this with this color. It doesn't make much sense to do it in that color. Now that's cool, but he's bald. He needs some hair. Give him the 90s rat tail. There we go. That's pretty much it. All right, since I had painted this piece over here, I just realized that maybe I can include some of my splash color on this hip hop guy. So I'm just gonna go ahead lay some of that in here. And what that'll do is just give us some continuity with what we got going on. You know? You don't even have to do it everywhere. Just, just, just give the effect that the color is going to do. Look, I'm going to share my splash with, uh, with this dude. With Acne. Me and Acne are doing a production together. What that'll do is just kind of, like I said, just kind of create some continuity. Oh, running out of that yellow. It's like the can that'll never die. I feel it running out, but then it just keeps on going. Bless you, Rusta. And there, that way you can, uh, you can just kind of uh, go over all the, the junk that was behind you, create that continuity, and now you got a mini production. How about that? I'm gonna fix this guy's piece for him. Since I bumped this guy, I'm just gonna go back. Oh, this, this is the thing I don't like about Rusto, is when it's wet and you try to paint over it with another color, it just eats it, eats it up. And that's because it's oil-based. And the oil-based paints, they take longer to dry. So I'll have to wait for that to dry before I hit it again. But yo, that's, that's fine, we can leave that. At least you see the basic way to do like a cartoony graffiti character. It's pretty easy. It's just making shapes, just drawing the basic shapes, outlining the basic shapes, adding the eye or whatever, you know, in the hand, again, you just two, two hot dogs, two uh, little smoky hot dogs, a little smoky hot dog with a deformation, outline it, and now you got a hand. Did you guys get that? Did that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> and that's it guys real real simple just draw draw your basic shapes like i said you got the hot dogs the little smokies you got the eggplant or the banana head and then you just put a lip a nose draw on the eyes you're done baby that's how you do it very very simple i can do this you can do this so that's pretty much it you just saw how to paint a basic old school character now please take this Draw yours, make it your own, and you've just became a graffiti artist. Character, pieces, tags. Have we done throw-ups? I think we have. We've done all, we've done everything. You're, you're at this point now where you are becoming a writer. And I couldn't be so much prouder!
prouder. Couldn't be so much prouder. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, part two of the video. It was a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I don't really paint old school characters that much anymore, but now that I did, I think we're gonna start doing a lot more of them because they're quick, easy to do, and it's a great way for you to learn the basics because you can take this guy that you paint on the street and turn him into something for a business. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, maybe you learn how to paint this character, but then you're gonna go do some uh, mural work for the local mechanic shop put the mechanic shop logo on his head, uh, maybe make him smile instead, and uh, you know, put a tool in his hand, and all of a sudden you just did a mural for a mechanic shop. And you got paid. And you took all that extra paint, and you went and did graffiti with it. Three-dimensional chess, guys. Always thinking three-dimensional chess. So, we'll get into that this summer. But I gotta go, we gotta catch a ferry back home, and uh, I'm done, son. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be seeing you soon, because all summer long, me and Ed are gonna be filming like crazy. Because we want you to be on our YouTube channel, we want you buying our products, we want you being on our team, the AP team. You are part of our team. So I'll talk to you guys later. Um, hope you enjoyed it, bye-bye.